Hi everyone, good day. This is Hillary DeFreitas, Marketing Mom, coming to you discussing today how you can use your Facebook profile to get content. So a lot of times we have the question of where do we find content to post on our fan page, to post on our blog, etc. And one of the things that I've been discussing is that Facebook actually, especially for your own Facebook fan page, Facebook is a great place to find content for that. So this is how I use my Facebook fan page. And in a recent um, post that I did, I talk about how I spend 20 minutes a day on Facebook. And a large chunk of that is me actually just perusing Facebook, looking for content for my fan page. So I just logged into my Facebook and I'm going to show you really quickly, basically, this is what I would do every day. All right. And I would just go through. And remember what we're looking for is content to be shared. So I wouldn't be looking at any ads, but this is considered content. All right. And you you want to share different things on your fan page, but it doesn't always have to be an article or it doesn't always have to be um, a ebook or a video. It could be simply a post. And Zig Ziglar is like one of the... I mean, every day you would find at least seven Zig Ziglar quotes in your newsfeed. So this is where you can find it. You know, you're going through and you see other people's posts. Depending on what type of page that you have, you know, this is one that I would share with an, on another fan page that I have right now. Um, interesting, but not what I'd care to share. Quotes. Quotes are something that I really look for to go through and share with people or actual news articles. So today I'm not seeing very many. Got a lot of puppies in the news feed. Mm -hmm. Lots of puppies in the news feed. So today there seems to be a lot of quotes. So today would be a day where I'm just sharing quotes like crazy. But, yep, another great quote. Don't take people for granted no matter how much they love you. People get tired eventually. Yep, very true. Right? So... You could find a million and one quotes that you could share. And how would you share it? So that one I really like. And I will actually going to share it on two pages. This is Michael Charles' page. And I'm actually going to share it. When you're sharing, you can either share it on your timeline, which should be on your personal profile. And you want to have a balance of what you, where you're sharing. But I'm going to share this actually on a page that I manage. And I'm actually going to share it on the I Am Catholic page. Right? And I'm just going to add a little quote. This is so true. You know, you always want to add something so that it may engage people, you know. All right. Or try to engage people, depending on what type of quote it is. And then that shares successfully. Now, the second place that I want to tell you about where you could find even more content, because maybe in your personal news feed, you're only going to find a lot of quotes. Today is one of those days. You're going to scroll down to on your left hand column here where, to where it says page feeds. Now, for every page that you've liked, if they're posting, this is actually the pages feed. So this would only be for pages that you've liked. So I've liked the page Chef Katrina. All right. I've liked the page Purple Marketing Limited. These are different companies. All right. And you can go through and see now what these pages huh? I like this one, right, because I am a mom, right? So here's one that is an article. Somebody shared multiples on board, shared this article about Richard Branson, right? And that was some big news recently, Richard Branson giving up to a year paid leave, all right? We got some people advertising makeup. We've got more blog stuff that works. Social Media Examiner, they really churn out a lot of articles. So this may be another article that you want to share. 15 types of articles. Now, if you don't want to share it right now on your feed, basically all you do is you actually click on it and go to that link. And then what you will do is copy the link, control C, go back to your Facebook and go to your page that you want to share it on. All right. And when you go to that page, so we found an article that we want to share. All right. Then you go to your page. All right. You can say something about it if you want, or you can just say create 
15 types of Facebook ads to enhance great information. Thought I'd share. All right. And if it's not that you want to send it off right now, you can click this little arrow down here next to the publish and schedule. And you choose the date and the time that you want to schedule it. Let's say we're going to send it out tomorrow, maybe about 3 p.m. And what I love about Facebook scheduler is that it's not set in five minute blocks. You could set it to 3.31 if you wanted and it will go out at that time. All right. And then you schedule it and it's scheduled to go out at that time. All right. So those are some of the ways that you can find content to share, particularly on your Facebook fan page. And I find that the newsfeed is always interesting because people are always sharing different articles and sharing different things. Obviously, tonight was not one of those nights where we had a lot of sharing, but we did find on the pages newsfeed. And I think a lot of people forget about this down here because this is where all the pages that you've liked, this is where you're going to find their information. All right. So we got a lot of like, you, you're going to find more quotes here. Billy Cox, you know, because a lot of pages, they're going to share. Oh, this is nice. Desire nothing for yourself, either good or bad. For yourself, want only what God wants. That this would be great for my... My other fan page, the I Am Catholic fan page. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share it on the I Am Catholic fan page. All right now, when you're sharing directly, you can't schedule it. So let's cancel this. If we actually wanted to share this at another time, you can, because everything that you put on Facebook becomes public, in case you didn't know, go down to options and download this image. When you download this image, then you could re-upload it on your own page all right but the i mean and this is why it's important that you brand your own images as well so council has branded this image so that even if i'm resharing it not from their page it's still branded council all right so that people know okay you got this from so and so you can do the same thing with several other images especially if they're branded it gives them so like this image you could easily download it it's already branded zigziglar.com all right so that's where you could find a lot of content to share and that is why i spend 20 minutes a day on facebook because not only am i getting use getting um updates on my ads and responding to comments and messages that are left on my page i'm also looking for content so i hope this has been very helpful in this module about trying to find content actually using facebook for your Facebook fan page. This has been Hilary DeFreitas Marketing Mom. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.